tyrant. Easter morning, your grandson is beating his fist against the table, sweaty little tyrant. I've propped his rotund body on one knee, so he can see you press your grizzled mustache against an eggshell, to teach him, as you taught me, how to blow the innards out of the ones we want to keep. You used to frighten me. You woke too early, listened to the birds, called back to them. You tried to teach me once. Old Sam Peabody, 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 who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Nonsense, I whispered. Copy a kid and how my mother pitched her hip when I heard her call you fascist. You were highbrow, enveloped by thick publications, always scribbling illegible things, requiring cigarette breaks and bold coffee. Nana swept ash from the floors just yesterday. We repapered the country kitchen wallpaper she'd fallen in love with 30 years ago, kneeling side by side, tearing the roosters, as you chanted in the baby's ear, Old Sam Peabody, 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 who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? So she carefully gauged whisper, gentle now, you crooned, as if you were trying to keep him.